if we if we think about um, the amount of light, and let me give you a uh, uh, just a something that I do with my students on a, on a regular basis when we're talking about daylighting is we'll go outside, first we'll start inside and measure illuminance inside the space. And if I had a meter here and took a reading in this space, it might read 50 foot candles or something of that nature, which is a measure of illuminance, which is tip, that's typical in the interior of a building and what we need typically to, to see. If I were to go outside, and take an illuminance measurement, if we're now looking at this model as the outside, and I took a measurement, it would be in the range of 15,000 foot candles. Compare that to 50,000, I'm sorry, 50 inside, 15,000 outside. If I were then to block the sun, and just measure the sky, if I had this meter block the sun, I'd have maybe 4,000 from the sky and 10 to 15,000 from the sun. So the magnitude is very, very significant. And that sun, because of the heat, uh, we typically want to eliminate and because of the glare, because of that. So we typically, the strategy is to minimize direct sun and maximize sky light because of its diffuse and, and much, much better quality.